Okay, class, we're going to talk about addition. And we're going to talk about addition of big numbers. You're more ready for this than you think. We've been doing a lot of work with big numbers. Let's take, for example, if we had 127 and we wanted to add on 51. At first, that might seem kind of hard. But the key is we need to line up these numbers. We need to put them in columns that show their place value. So to do that, I'm going to actually erase 127 and 51, and I'm going to organize it a little differently. I'm going to write it like this. 127 plus 51. And then I'll put in my equal sign. You can see how I've lined everything up. The other thing we're going to think about is using our base 10 pictures. We're good at that. We know how to use our base 10 pictures. 127 is 100, two tens, and seven ones. 51 has no hundreds, but it has five tens and one one. Look how easy it is to put those together. We can clearly see when we look at the whole picture what's going on. We just need to add this all up. And so we can see that our answer is 100. It is seven tens and it is eight ones. That means 127 plus 51 equals 178. Yay! Okay guys, let's move on to uh, bigger numbers, a, a little more challenging. Let's look at 507 plus 120. We know that the first thing we need to do is line those numbers up in columns so that it's easier for us to visualize adding them together. So 507 plus 120 and we put our equal sign below those numbers and now all we need to do is draw our base 10 pictures. So 507 has five hundreds but it has no tens and it has seven ones. 120 has 100 and it has two tens but it has zero ones. Well that's easy enough. All we need to do now is add this all together. When we do that we can clearly see we have six hundreds, we have two tens, we have seven ones. So 507 plus 120 equals 627. Yay! Great job!